I'm Ursula Gannon from Gannon's Antiques and Art in Fort Myers, Florida. Today I wanted to show you one of our yeah, very yeah, special treasures. It's right here. And it's a long case clock. Oh, yes. It's a Cherry Chippendale clock mm -hmm. from around 1780. This yeah, is really a nice piece. And it is towering tall. It's about uh, just over eight oh, it didn't have feet tall to the very top of the finials. I think it's eight feet two inches tall. And what we have here uh, that is particularly interesting is not only do we have this great antique clock in this fabulous case with the old float glass, but if you look into the door here, I'm going to move around this way, you can see that they actually have a provenance of people who have serviced this clock over time. And uh, we have Thomas Smith here who, who serviced it in 1831, and then Joaquin Hill, who's a really famous, well-known New Jersey clockmaker who did a lot of servicing to the clocks and um, a lot of his clocks are in the museums, uh, Metropolitan Museum and other fine museums and he serviced it in 1841 and then here is Lewis from Bordentown, New Jersey who serviced it in 1864 and then down in the very bottom we have the last inscription that says this clock was given to William Ryder by his family on Father's Day, 1935. This must have been his very best Father's Day ever. May it tick till time shall be no more. And here you can see the big heavy weights, two weights, one for the chime, and, and uh, or the strike I should say, and the other for the time. And then there's a pendulum in there. We've got full columns here on, those, on, on the sides, four of them. Got the broken arch pediment with really heavily, deeply carved rosettes at the center with the three finials. Really beautiful. And then these are the uh, quarter columns here and then all the way, leading all the way down to the bottom. Um, and they're fluted. So, so this is really a beautiful clock. It would have been somebody wealthy who owned it. Uh, the interesting thing to think about is when this was made, this was made and traveled to the home in a horse and carriage. And these clockmakers that we saw, they all came by horseback to come and service this clock and keep it running over time. I mean, this was really colonial America. Uh, it's a great treasure. We have lots more in our 20,000 square foot antiques mall. We'd love for you to come to Florida, have a great vacation, and see Gannon's Antiques. And if not, you can go to our website, gannonsantiques.com, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'm sure you'll see lots of other things that you'll really like, too.